This little guy is a uh, Chironomid, a type of midge larva. I'm not sure if he's a biting or non-biting species. I pulled him out of my aquarium this morning. Uh, of course, I couldn't see him until I got him on the slide and under the microscope, but uh, He was uh, either in the water or attached to a spine of the uh, aquarium plant that I plucked out of there with my tweezers. It's called a uh, hornwort. I got a few spines and put them in a uh, centrifuge tube and spun it down for five or six minutes. And I used a pipette to get the water at the bottom of the uh, tube. And this guy was in there when I put him on the slide and put the cover slip on. You can see he's got little arms there that he can use them to pull himself along and walk. I guess he's walking Got him when he's down on the downside, he's on the slide. See, now watch. Watch, see, he used him on the edge of the cover slip there. He can't get a good purchase on the glass of the slide, though. I guess it's too slippery. So he kind of like pushes himself along with his tail and helps with those arms. Watch his uh, antenna too. Whenever he uh, swallows or clenches his throat, those go in and out one at a time too. They don't go both at once. Uh, the first first picture there was uh, I was at 4x using a <coughs> using a Nikon. 4X plan Acromat. Now we're on a, using a 2X, a generic brand. And I've added some Proto Slow to the water here to slow him down because he was flipping all around like he was just a second ago. Okay, now we're on a 10X. The green dots in there, that's his blood. And you can see each section has a bladder. I think those are for buoyancy. I've seen these bladders in other midges, but not exactly like these. Look at those claws. He can clench those, see? That's for uh, grasping onto things and a little horn spikes there are for whipping his enemies. Now we're going to look at him at 20x right now. You can see a lot of detail. You see the see the things with the uh, diagonal lines in them are muscle fibers going the length of the body. It seems like all these insects, larvae, and uh, bugs have uh, muscle fibers like the copepods. I know the cyclops do. Their muscle fibers have those crosshatch lines down the length of them. How's his gut working? I don't know what he's doing there. This little thing here in his gut with the udders on it. That's kind of interesting. Those might be something like little appendixes or something I don't know I wish I knew more about it but uh, I don't very interesting though See him clench those toes up. I 
That's a spine there. Got two of those. And two of the short horns. It's hard to keep uh, under the lens. Look at those claws on the toes there. See them clench? That's cool. Every one of these larvae has got a different tail. Look at the uh, bladders in the body there. I think they're buoyancy bladders, but I'm not sure. I don't know what else they could be. They seem to be connected. They go up almost to the head. Just fascinating. See the bladders? Now there's a couple of large things there that look almost like lungs. Sure, they're not. Although they could be, I just don't know. Probably bladders or some kind of other organ. He's already got the beginnings of a compound eye. Now we're back to uh, a borax here. Closing in on the end of this movie. And after I uh, finish this movie, I put him back in the aquarium to hopefully catch him again. <laughs>